I've basically been transferring notes from the lecturers into my textbook so that I can kind of see all the information at one go in my textbook. And this is for the respiratory system. So we covered the respiratory and the urinary system in the last lecture, so I need to summarize all that. But I really want to go and get books, so since I'm done with one chapter, I think I'm going to head out and go for a walk, get a book, and then come back and finish up urinary. And then later on at 4.30, I have a quiz. And at night, I have a presentation, like practice. So I'm like meeting up with my group mates to practice our presentation for Monday. So today is kind of a busy day. It's a Friday. I don't actually have any class, but still quite busy this week. At home and these are the books that I got. I got like a total of four books and then there's this expert and beginner. They're actually on very similar topics like I've been wanting to get beginner since like I saw it in the UK before I came back but I kind of forgot about it until I saw it today and it's basically how we can like how we practice and things become like an expertise that we know so these two are very interesting and then these two i think are considered psychology books i got them from the psychology section and then i have two books on medical writing so these are also really recommended so i'm trying to submit my forum response but the website's just not working like how do they expect us to submit things when their website's not working I feel like anyone who watches Korean dramas can relate, but don't you feel like after you watch them eat ramyeon, you just have to eat ramyeon? On top of being a very visual learner, I also have a thing where I think I'm quite a tactile learner so I have to like write and then visualize the information that I'm learning in order to fully understand it. So what I'm trying this time around, because anatomy is such a content heavy subject but you also have to memorize so much, I'm trying to like visualize all of my bones better that I need to remember and like the parts of the bones that I need to remember by putting them all up on my wall.
seeing some of the cats tonight. Uh, breakfast Becca. Oh, uh, lemon calamansi iced tea. <laughs> so basically, today, because it's Saturday and I usually spend the weekends with my mom at home, so we ended up going for a brunch as you saw from the previous clip. And then she wanted to get a new wallet, so I kind of went shopping with her, and then next thing you know, brunch led to tea led to dinner and then we really only came home at around like 8 after we decided to go on a walk as well all of which I forgot to film and so while it was fun I still do have to get back to work because I have a lot of submissions and like presentations next week like somehow all of my modules have their presentations and stuff next week so I have to prepare for that and then I also have to finish up with my notes from the lecture for anatomy on Tuesday so yeah I guess I'm gonna get working on that tonight and hopefully I don't sleep too late because I still need my full rest and then I have a friend who's coming over tomorrow and we're gonna make donuts so that'll be fun <laughs> I don't know what it is, but like, sometimes whenever I look at things in English, it just makes a bit more sense. Like, for the longest time, I was looking at the minor calyx, major calyx, and how it just kind of becomes the um, renal pelvis. So it was all written in Chinese, and it, it like should have made sense, but... I could not for the life of me understand that it was going this way and I thought it was going like this way so I was like why how how are these things connected how are they like moving and just I'm glad I figured it out but sometimes maybe it's just the fact that it's in English and it's 2am my brain would just rather understand things in English so that's that There's like all sorts of things. I don't think a lot of people eat jam, so. Mm. 
Let's take the smaller one. Also now, like, my friends also know about it, like, from NTU. Let's hope our babies rise. So my friend and I finished making the donuts and then I've washed up, cleaned up, prepared everything for bringing it to school tomorrow to share with my friends. But um, I left off halfway with my bicep to six notes so I'm gonna finish that and then head to bed because I'm a bit behind on my biostatistics. I kind of like to, because it's all math, I prefer to just do it all in one sitting. So I usually accumulate different lectures and then just do it in one go. So I'm gonna finish the notes on t-test. The slides are honestly very confusing and it's not very like concise or very clear. So I've actually been referring to Khan Academy a bit more to understand how the formulas work and like refresh my mind because I studied this like three, four years ago but I haven't used any of it so it's taking a while to revise everything and understand everything again.